Hi, I'm Jonathan Pickup, and welcome to my movie. So one of the things that I use a lot is symbols for creating my details. How would you like your details to be this easy to place the symbols? You notice that the symbols are always ending up exactly where I want, making it very quick to draw my details. You're interested? Keep watching. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to start with a blank file. And the file is going to be at scale 1 to 5. So my active layer scale already 1 to 5 because that's the details or the scale that I want to print my details at. Just makes it easy for me to draw. Uh, it's no special thing here. So the first thing I need is a piece of timber. It's 140 by 45. And I need a couple of lines in it because the lines are just going to make it easy for me later on. So I'm going to create the two lines because this is really common. But I want these to be on a specific class. So I'm going to create a new class, or I can import a class from an existing file. So I'm going to import a couple of those. There they are. And I want to create a new one of these. And I'm going to call it Detail Hatching. So now that I've created it, I can just assign that to my selection. This I want to be H1.2 Timber. So I can just assign that to my class and yes I want to use that graphic style. Now the reason I'm using that graphic style is because I've got different sorts of timber. Now the next thing now that I've made this the symbol, the next thing is how to make it easy when I create my symbol. Modify, create symbol and this is my uh, 140 by 45 H1.2 framing. There it is there. Now how, where do I want this? Do I want plane projection center, which is right in the middle, and that doesn't make it easy to place this when I'm creating my details. Next mouse click is what I want. I'm going to assign it to the group none, because I'm creating details, I don't want that to turn off. And I've got classes on the other parts. I don't want that to convert to a group when I place it. And then I click here, at the bottom corner, and let's save that as my timber. If we go back and have a look at my creating drawings, and we have a look at this object here, you'll notice that this object is set slightly off. So this is my framing for my jib ceiling. It's a rondo batten. And you'll notice I've actually got an insertion point here and here, which are slightly off this point here. So when I place that symbol, you notice that my batten sits just slightly off my rafter, which makes it look much better. So there's some quick tricks on how to create symbols. Creating the insertion point of your symbol is really important for speed and efficiency. Hey, I hope you like this movie. If you do, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell button to get notified. And if you really want to get detailed movies like this, become a member. The membership shows really detailed movies, how to create this stuff in detail. Plus, you get an opportunity to join me on webinars. So. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.